We are, uh, this is a reforming government. We have done a huge amount to reform education. We want it to be more rigorous, uh, more academic. Uh, we want more children to have the opportunities that the wealthiest people in this country have had from their education system. And that applies to music. And it, I think it's very wrong. There's a survey in a, uh, a magazine uh, called The Word, a survey in 2010, that compared the charts in a week in October in 2010 with the same week in the year uh, 10 years earlier, in 2000. And it looked at the proportion of the acts that were educated in the independent sector. It was 60% in 2010, it was 40% in the year 2000. And I, you know, I, I, I think, that, you know, it, it's not right. And I think there's a huge amount of talent uh, in our country that goes unexploited because they've not had the groundwork of learning to read music, of being exposed to great music, uh, and, to, uh, and to learn to take part in a choir or to learn an instrument. And we've got to redress that so that in 10 years' time, in 2020, we're back to the right proportions of independent versus state schools that reflect the population as a whole. Nick Gibb, thank you very much indeed for your time.